Hello everyone, what's up? I'm Randall and I'm Vincent and this is the Winter Historical Adventures. So what can you say, partner? Uh, the church is so wonderful. So let, let them see the structure. Yes.
finally. So we are here in front of the, of the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. And, and we're, si uh, we're sitting in front of the church. So as you can see, you want to know the historical background of this church? Yes, and I would love to know about okay. what it was historical background. Okay, let's start now. As you can see, this is called the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, formerly known as the Saint Vitalis and the Immaculate Conception. The Saint Vitalis and the Immaculate Conception. You know why? why yes, why? Because it is dedicated for them. Oh, okay. But at the at many centuries came by, it turns out to be as a diocese now. Oh. So that's why it's called the Cathedral. Cathedral. So first. Let's go. You can see yes. the, the structure, you know, it starts with Anipa back in 15th century or 16th, I mean 16th century. Oh, okay, so first made from a wood and Anipa house. So it started in 1595. So then the Archbishop in Cebu made it a Metropolitan Cathedral in 1934. But in the, at, the world, at the Second World War, the church was being destroyed. Okay. And all the left here is only the walls. And uh, yeah, because this kind of structure can made from natural calamities, can sustain from natural calamities. So they rebuilt it. And now this is what we see today. Have you noticed this the church structure? Yes, Ryan, it's obviously. This church is a uh, European style. So it's because we have been colonized by the Spaniards. The Spaniards. So this church is more of a Baroque style. So the bucket is more of a triple shape building and decorated with a curved building. So you see the upper part of the church? Yes. There's a kind of yes. leaves. Just many symbols. Yeah. But if you see that kind of leaves, it's more it's called a floral motifs. You also see the emblem where there is a symbol of phoenix. A phoenix, right? You see there? Yes. The symbol of a phoenix. So yes. that is a Chinese influence. So another is an image of Saint Peter, the circle there up. In, it's in the left side. Left side is Saint Peter, Saint and the Peter. other side is Saint Paul. Saint so Paul. They are the defender of the church. The one who established the Catholic. So another is a clamshell medallion, most of clamshell that that's it. Yes, that's a clamshell medallion. So that a medallion of the host, the most holy name of Jesus. And the last is the, the two dogs structure that is the one that guards the cathedral. So there's another one more thing in the stained glass. Yes, it, it has a you see that is called a retablo. retablo. It's a thing, stained glass, more more of the iconic of a saint. It could be also for Jesus and Mary. That was very interesting, right, guys? Now I would like to show you something. Come on. So, where people come and pray? Yes, we are here in Groto now. We have a question, Bill. Yes. Do you have any knowledge about Groto? Yes. Um, so, Immaculate Conception, so it was built, dedicated to her. And then, and who's that statue? The so, lady? this statue here, it, this woman praying. So, this is Sister Lucia, which the Immaculate Conception appeared and then so that's it they built this grotto dedicated to the immaculate conception so guys let's go and i'm gonna show you another another place so run let's go we are here in the cebu cathedral rectory so 
Um, we cannot go inside since it um, it is used to be the the place of where the priest live uh, for five year terms. So instead, I'm gonna show you another place. Let's go. So guys, so we are here where people do to light candles and pray. So they pray like a birthday celebration or any important celebration as part of the Filipino tradition. So here are the schedules. So come on guys, so here are the other place so which is a prayer room. So obviously so they pray here. So that's all guys. So if you wanna go here in Cebu so this is the place where you should not, where you should not miss. Yeah, also it's beside the Basilica, you know, the Santo Nino, a famous yes. church. So it's an add bonus to you. If you want to visit here, you can go there as well. It's so near. Yes. Here are the modes of transportation. For those who want to go there, first go to Google Maps. Second, Search for Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. Get the directions. Set your location. For me, I am here at the SM Cebu City. There are many ways to get there. You could first drive your car or drive a motorcycle or take buses or jeepneys available you could also walk and the most easiest way is to book for a grab car or a taxi okay. yes. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs>